One person that sticks out to me particularly is you know, Imam Zainal Abedin because he lived through uh, Karbala. He lived in the good times too when, when things were good. And then he went to uh, Karbala and Ashura and he saw what happened to his whole family, his, all his friends, his brothers, his uncle, his father, everybody got, got slaughtered. He witnessed all this. He wanted to fight, but he couldn't because he was sick. He tried and he had the spirit, but he just, uh, he, couldn't, he couldn't fight. Because if he died, the imamate would have been ceased at that point. But he, he was able to live through that, and he witnessed all the tragedies of the Kabbalah and all these things. And he even had to march through the desert with chains on, his, on him and, and getting beat. And still, he remained strong, you know. They, they beat him, like, physically, but spiritually and mentally, he was really strong. And he stood up and spoke. And the most person who would go through something like that would be, you know, they would just, they wouldn't be able to function anymore. But he stood up in the court and thousands of people and spoke out against the leader of the time. That'd be like going out and talking against the president. And he spoke out in such an elegant way that he showed everybody and brought the whole crowd to tears. And even though he was in prison, he would still make salat and make prayer until his ankles would swell. And he was still a solid backbone for his whole family. And everybody turned to him and he was able to provide peace for them, you know. And I just look at that as like whatever we go through in life, it could never compare to what he went through. And he remained firm and strong and went through the trials and tribulations that shows me that whatever I go through it is nothing compared to that. So I should be able to remain strong too. So I gain strength from the sufferings and the things that he went through. That's like uh, 